As we all know, a few weeks ago, Northam was canceled due to the large amounts of trash and food left around the school. What we don't often think about are the people who have to clean up the mess we leave. My name is Paul Conley. Uh, I've been a janitor here at North about going on 11 years. Really what led me here was uh, I divorced in 1999 and decided to get out of nursing and devote more time to my children if possible. And in that process I worked a lot of different jobs. I watered plants for a living and uh, worked Walmart as a stalker, was a security guard. And finally I began to develop some carpal tunnel syndrome from lifting heavy boxes at Walmart and I thought I had better change before I need surgery. So my daughter was living with me at that time and she said, Dad, Shawnee Mission's got uh, janitorial jobs open. You, you'd make a good janitor. So I looked for closer work and North had several positions open. And that's how I ended up here. It's an eight hour day plus overtime once in a while. We really concentrate early on in getting things situated for the meal, answering uh, emergency calls of any kind, doing some clean up in the dock and restocking. I deliver packages in the school. Gee, I could, couldn't tell you the list of little things that we you know, normally occupy our time with. I think it was a culmination of things, from what I understand, so that there may have been more than just one day, an outbreak of, of uh, real obvious, you know, messiness. And I, you know, to me, that, uh, that's just part of us getting, as a campus, getting used to a new format and being a little careful that we don't take our freedom to uh, an, an unfortunate end of being restricted again. I think everybody can learn together. Now, obviously, the, uh, every class has a few people who take advantage. But I think, as a rule, uh, the students can just kind of help each other. It's helpful to have a friend who is close enough to you to say, hey, <laughs> let's clean up before we get out of here because we're going to end up back in the corral, you know. And uh, that, that kind of help between uh, individual students is, is good. You know, I've seen a progression of maturing. That's what you expect, is that uh, from your freshman entry to the time you graduate, you're beginning to change your habits and your attitudes. And so I've seen some people really struggling as uh, new students and taking advantage and thinking it's just a freeload situation. But by the time they're juniors and seniors, they have turned the corner and they're taking care of their business a lot better. And that's a pleasant observation, you know, to see, see us progress. And we all progressed, even the staff <laughs> progressed together.